actually growing up, math was not my strong subject. It was a subject that I often ran away from. So when I'm in front of my classroom, I'm just imagining how I felt as a child and what would happen, you know, why I strayed away from math. So I try to teach it in a way where the kids are excited to come, where they understand what's going on, and where they're comfortable to say like, hey, Ms. Lewis, I didn't get it. Can we, you know, can we do it in a different way? I like math because of multiplication. Because every time when somebody gives me a multiplication problem, I have to rethink about it. I can relate something in their daily lives to every lesson that I do. So I'm sitting up at night thinking about how I'm going to take that graham cracker and I'm going to teach fractions. A lot of parents these days, they don't understand the math that comes home to them. So I just tell them, I tell my students to go home, try to work it out with their parents. And if they don't understand it, they can bring it back and I explain it to them so they can take it home. And I also tell them the resources they can use at home to look at what I've taught in class, you know, the step by step. When I go home, that I go home and I teach my, my parents some things that they don't even know. I have parent classes and I've had them since I've been teaching 50 years. I started in 1968. So any parent can come to me after work, after school, and we have a parent class. And when they register and they come for parent night, I show them all the resources on their phone. I show the children how to teach them. And sometimes children's homework is to go home and teach your mom how to multiply. I keep every student in mind. Um, I'm looking to see how can I push them further or how can I pull certain things out of them. Um, I use a bunch of different, I guess, ways to reach them from music to my PowerPoints, you know, having different transitions and things like that. Um, we do a lot of group, you know, talking as a group, I call them as a group. It is my hope that students leave Levi with that extra edge that will help them to thrive in their next setting. Uh, ultimately, our students, we work hard to make sure they're prepared for their next grade. We do concentrate a lot on enrichment as well as making sure we substantiate what they need foundationally. We are 901. We are 901. We are 901.